Are you buying this rally? Well, I mean, we're already in this rally. Um, you know, we've been been protecting some downside, but I, I would say I'm, I'm looking to exit my downside protection and let this thing ride. You know, but we still have the Federal, Federal Reserve uh, policy decision later today. They're going to hike rates, 75 basis points most likely. You know, they, their, their hike here is important, but it's their message going forward after September. Are they going to cool? And, and the market is pricing in them cooling their pace of hikes. Now, you couple that with the extreme negativity of earnings compression that where we're actually seeing these stocks like Microsoft and Alphabet reject the, the bad earnings report, the headline earnings report and actually trade higher. So I think there's a combination, a little, little one-two punch that we could see here today. And then I would be looking to be buying on strength above 4,000 in the S&P. Okay, what I'm hearing is that the economy bumbles along, very little growth, maybe a dip to negative every now and again. And the stock market bumbles along without doing too much. Is that how you see the rest of the year going? That's not how I see it. I, the economy, you're right. I, I think we'll bumble along. We're going to deteriorate. We're seeing the housing market start to, those prices start to come in. Pending home sales fell. New home sales yesterday fell. These are bad numbers. You're seeing services PMI contract. So this stuff is already happening. And I think it's going to bumble along at these negative contracting levels here for the next couple months. But the stock market is different. The stock market, I believe, foresees 9, 12, and 18 months out. The stock market's already gone through these motions in the first half of the year. The negativity is mounting. People are now thinking they're going to manage risk by selling stocks when the S&P is down 20%. I don't think that's a smart move. I think you want to be looking at good names that you want to own through next year. And this is your buying opportunity in the equity market as the rest of the market sort of falls through and the Fed slows their pace of hikes in the back half of the year, potentially even pricing in a cut by June of next year. Okay. Now, I suspect that you're not allowed or you're not supposed to talk about individual stocks. You're a big picture market guy. But can I can talk about anything you'd like me to talk about. If you okay. want to talk about the individual stocks, I'm here. Okay. I, I'd like you to explain to me how come Microsoft and Google both came in with what the analysts were calling disappointing reports, a miss for both of them, top line, bottom line. How come that's turned around the next day to a massive rally for both stocks? This isn't too much of a surprise to us. I mean, the earnings compression, that's the narrative that you're going to see earnings write downs. The multiples were compressed the first half of the year. Next leg lower is going to be the earnings compression. Portfolio managers have already managed some risk on this. Listen, I, I dialed back uh, weightings I had. Oh, there's some Alphabet and Microsoft, Apple were my three biggest holdings. I dialed them back on last Friday ahead of this earnings week. They're still my, some of my largest holdings, but I think a lot of portfolio managers are dialing, dialing back those exposures. You've already seen Microsoft come out with a warning early, about a month or two ago. Google or Alphabet already came out with the layoffs announcements and slowing hiring a, a week or two ago. So a lot of the negativity is becoming baked in. All you need is a little bit of positivity within. And the CEO, Nadella, at Microsoft, talking about Azure, was very positive. And I think that's going to be a tailwind right now. That's going to be one of the bigger growing parts of their business here in the coming years. So people are feeding off of that. Investors are feeding off that. You're seeing some people, some traders and, and, and portfolio managers start to reposition. Now, for Alphabet, it got hit with the Snap news last week. But Alphabet is not Snap. And their ad revenue was not as low as people anticipated. And so we're seeing this as a big, big surprise higher. I think there's really great tailwinds here. Look at Shopify. Yesterday was down 15%. And due to the layoffs, today, very disappointing earnings. Traded down 6% pre-market. And now it's up, what, 4 or 5% I've yep. looked at in the last half an hour. But, wow, exactly right. this, this is the type of market where we don't go lower yep. on negative the, news. I think it's a turning point. This a uh, turning point. You saved the best till last. All right, Bill Baruch, that's good stuff. Thank you very much indeed. I like the idea of a turning point.